Yes, indeed. Just like a stubborn STD, I'm back. Hello, welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen video. Only this is more of an infomercial rather than a pen review. I'm back from four weeks off from posting fountain pen video reviews on my channel, Inquiring Minds. I've not been idle while I've been away. I've been selling off pens and acquiring new ones. And I've been doing pen review videos, just not posting them. I've also been traveling, relaxing, sitting in the sun, having beverages of a sociable nature on pub patios with my wife, Wynne, and generally getting my ass out of my dark basement. I want to thank all of you that have stayed subscribers while I was away, and those that have signed up even though I said I might not be back. That's a lot of faith. And a special thank you to all of you who so kindly reached out with messages of support through comments here, emails, Facebook, and Instagram. Even though I may not have responded, I read them all, and you're all so sweet and supportive. Yes, I do know that there are many, many more wonderful people than there are detractors. And my time off has given me some space to breathe and reevaluate my channel. And actually, the day, the very day that I posted my so long and thanks for all the fish video, YouTube made some changes to how creators can deal with YouTube comments. Great timing. The YouTube changes allow creators to now filter and search their comments. The new filters allow me to only view comments made by public subscribers or just by members. A few people had suggested that I use Patreon as a way to limit my interaction with viewers and get funding support. I'm still not interested in doing that. But through YouTube memberships and this new filtering capability, I have a new plan for my channel. You see, I had prided myself on answering every single comment on every single video I've posted. And I'm proud to say that until the last video, I did just that. The interaction with all of you has been really wonderful and I've made some really great pen friends. But I also had to read all the crap as well as the good. I'd rather not have to read all the crap, and now I have a plan to do just that. So as of today, I'm starting a new membership level on my Inquiring Minds channel. There's only one membership level, which is the lowest amount that YouTube allows me to charge per month. And that is just 99 cents Canadian a month or just 79 cents US per month, or $9.48 US a year. For that membership level, I guarantee I will answer your initial comments on my videos. I won't guarantee a long conversation, and I might only respond with, awesome, cool beans, or rock on, but I will respond. I can filter the comments so I only see members and then answer those. I think typically I would also filter so that I can read subscriber comments as well and perhaps respond to some of those. But this way I get to read comments from real pen friends and never see the trolls and the haters out there. And as an added bonus for your membership, when I point at the camera and I say right now, you'll have the satisfaction of knowing that I'm speaking directly to you. Well, I see Shmuel and Trisha and Betty and Cheryl Ann and Alexandra, and of course I see you. See what I did there? I see you, you know. So next time, wear pants. Hey, Meg, you see my pants? <gasps> oh, Lois, by the way, we're out of toilet paper. <laughs> and as to the money that you'll spend for your membership, YouTube takes 30% of that fee. So your intrepid pen reviewer will get a whopping $6.64 US a year from your membership fee. I can buy a whole non-supersized Big Mac meal a year with that. Which brings me to the straw that broke this camel's back last July. Sponsorships. I gave away that $40 Chinese Kickstarter pen to a viewer. That was the most unsuccessful sponsorship in the history of YouTube. I accepted the pen for free, but I had to pay $25 Canadian DHL duty taxes extortion fee to accept it. 
then I pay $25 to ship it to the winner of the giveaway. So that little brass pen cost me more than a new pen BBS fountain pen. Shrewd businessman, aren't I? <laughs> wow. So to be called a shill for losing 50 bucks on a pen that I don't own anymore, and I actually criticized in the review, well, that's too much for me. But now I'm thinking, what a naive dummy I am. Everyone else bellies up to the trough, so why not me? So bring on the sponsorships. I've already been contacted by Nike, Camcast Video Software, and a smart pen company, and a bunch of others about sponsorships. Now I want to hear from some of you manufacturers of my favorite products. Are you listening, Martin? I love my Martin 00028 VS so much, I could really use a Martin D45. I promise a great review. And Gibson? I might have the king of flat tops here in my beloved J200, but I'll wear this hat on camera every day for a year if you send me a new Gibson Les Paul. And how about you, Bose? I can go on for hours about the amazing sound from my Bose Bluetooth sunglasses. And no kidding, folks, the Bose audio is freaking amazing. But I have no problem demonstrating some of my awesome acoustic guitar riffs using a Bose L1 audio system. And what about you, Apple? Did you guys notice that I did an upgrade to my video production system by retiring my awesome Apple iPhone 7 Plus and upgrading to this amazing new iPhone 11? I'll do a commercial for you if you send me a new iPhone 12 Pro Max. I know I'll love it even before I see it. And the same goes for Mont Blanc, Lamy, Graf von Faber-Castell, Montegrappa, any of you makers that specialize in pens that cost more than a family SUV. Send those gaudy doorstop desk candy pens my way and I'll give them one thumbs up. Hey, you'll get both my thumbs up your product. Oh, excuse me a moment. Hello, Doug Rathman. Yes, I run the Inquiring Minds channel. Well, thank you very much. I'm pleased you like it. You're a Korean pen company and you want to give me what? A smart pen to review. Wow, that's amazing. That's totally awesome. What's a smart pen? Oh, it lets you digitize your handwriting on a phone or tablet. Cool. And it's in the same form as a Lamy Safari? Hmm, well, perhaps you shouldn't send one to Fig Boot on pens because he hates Asian copies of German pens. Oh, I see. Lamy is promoting it too. Cool. Well, send two of them to me, and I promise I'll send one on to David. Yeah. Tomorrow? Wow, that's fast. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, I'll send you my address, and I promise you'll get a good review. Yeah. What? Oh, don't worry about them. My viewers will buy anything I tell them to. Yeah, yeah. Uh -huh. Yeah, pretty much. Thank you. Oh, and thank Lamy for me, and tell them I'm sorry I sold my Lamy 2000 just days after getting it. Yeah, yeah, they can send me another one, and I promise I'll like it this time. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thanks. Take care. Oh, oh, and if you're talking to Apple, hello? No. No, oh, never mind. Oh, sorry, I forgot you were there. So, sign up for a membership, subscribe to my channel, give me a thumbs up, and ring that bell for instant notifications when my new videos arrive. My reviews will begin again this coming Saturday. Then every Saturday after that, I'll post another review. I might even throw in extra videos during the week for members only. Wink, wink. Snap, snap, grin, grin, wink, wink, nudge, nudge, sign them all. So grab your member and hop on board the Inquiring Minds channel right now. I made this. You're still here? It's over. Go home. Go.